So I wasn't going to do this video because there's so much controversy out there about relaxers, dyes, and all types of chemicals that go in your hair. But there are also some people out there like myself that really want that salon relax ready look at home. So if you're one of those people, then you want to go ahead and stay tuned to this video. So for my relaxer, when I do it at home, I use the olive oil or the ORS relaxer and I use regular strength only because my hair is short now and I don't need as much product or as strong of a product to um, get that relaxed look obviously a relaxer comes with everything you need the relaxer itself the shampoo the conditioner this is like my go-to relaxer I just switched to this particular brand about a year ago and it works perfectly fine for my hair I've been relaxing my hair since I started relaxing my hair maybe since I was 16 or even before then. Um, so I've always done my relaxers at home even before I go to my stylist. It's just so expensive to get the relaxers in the salon so I just prefer to do them myself at home. So obviously you're going to base your hair or your scalp with something oil based. I use Vaseline or petroleum jelly. Whatever you have, something that just creates a barrier between your skin and the relaxer so that you get no burns or anything like that. If you know how to do a perm or if you've been doing perms for a long time, you know what your skin can take, you know what your scalp can take. So you know what limit you have to go with your relaxer. I'm just gonna show you guys everything that I'm gonna be using in the video. Obviously the relaxer, the petroleum jelly to base my hair, and then for the wrap slash setting lotion, I use the Nairobi Mousse Wrap and Set. And I get this from my local beauty supply store. It's $10.99 and it works wonders and it's worth every penny. Basically it says it weighs, scrunches, conditions, it's fast dry, non-flaking, adds body and it's a wet setting. So basically you use this on your hair when it's completely wet after you've shampooed and conditioned your hair. You slap it on there and you get under the dryer. And also you're gonna see me wrap my hair with um, these little tissues and you can purchase these from your local beauty supply store as well. Basically you just wrap them around your hair like that. You'll see all that in the video. Basically it just helps the sides and the back of your hair lay down. If you have a shortcut, this is a must. Those are the main products that I'm gonna be using. And then obviously after styling, you want something to you know, help style your hair, whether it's a curling iron or a flat iron. I use my um, Babyless Pro Nano, and I purchased this off of Amazon for about $25, and it's worth every penny. It heats up really fast to about 430 degrees, and it works perfectly for short hair. And then for my shine, I just use this Chi Shine Infusion, and I purchased this from Walgreens. I believe it's about $11.99, and it's worth it. It has no alcohol in it, so it doesn't dry your hair out. It doesn't weigh your hair down or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. I will see you guys later. thinner than the center of my hair so I don't want the product to stay on my edges as long so I really want the middle to be nice and straight so then I, now I'm going to work my way on the outer edges and then let both of them work together.
conditioning cap and the relaxer still on my scalp. I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes or so and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shampoo and condition the hair and then I'm gonna set it. Then I'm gonna sit under the dry for maybe 30, 45 minutes. Normally I would use the entire tub of the relaxer, but this time I really only use not even a half a tub um, because my hair is short now. And this is the first time that I'm relaxing my hair while it's short. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this stuff out because I can feel it tingling right now and I will see you guys back. 